Top 5 Best Fitness Trackers Number 5. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. If you have a Samsung phone, this is going to be the best full-featured smartwatch for fitness tracking. Not only is this the only Wear OS 3 smartwatch available right now, but Samsung's genuinely put more effort into the Galaxy Watch's health offerings. It recently beefed up sleep tracking, and the $249.99 Galaxy Watch 4's new 3-in-1 sensor also enables body composition analysis. That's a unique feature that no other smartwatch at the moment is capable of. You can also access workout videos from the Samsung Health app, though the production value isn't as good as Fitness Plus or Peloton. Keep in mind there are also growing pains with the Wear OS 3 transition. We're still waiting on Google Assistant coming to this watch, though you can download alternatives like Google Pay if Samsung Pay isn't to your liking. Also, some of the Galaxy Watch 4's best features are limited to Samsung owners, making it hard to wholeheartedly recommend this to non-Samsung Android users. The regular Galaxy Watch 4 has a touch-sensitive bezel, which is fiddly. Coming in number 4. Apple Watch SA. If you're looking for a smartwatch that does fitness well, then iPhone owners need to look no further than the $279 Apple Watch. Say Apple's mid-tier smartwatch lacks marquee features like EKGs, and always on display, and SpO2, but very little else. If you're a relatively healthy person, EKGs aren't necessary as the SA still provides abnormal heart rate alerts. Likewise, Apple hasn't really figured out how it wants to best utilize its SpO2 sensors just yet. The SE also still gets you built-in GPS, cellular capability, contactless payments, and fall detection. It's also compatible with Apple's Fitness Plus service. Put bluntly, the vast majority of people will get the same experience on the SE that they will on the flagship Series 7. You might as well save the extra cash. We'd recommend the Series 7 over the SE only if the slightly bigger screen is easier on your eyes, if you must have the always-on display, or if your doctor thinks you could benefit from EKGs. Coming in number 3. Garmin Vivamove Sport. While Garmin's made some truly exquisite hybrid trackers in the past, the price made them hard to recommend. However, the Vivamove Sport finally gets things right. It looks like an analog swatch, thanks to the hidden OLED display, but you don't actually lose anything in terms of accuracy. For $179.99, you are giving up some things like built-in GPS and NFC payments. However, you do get push notifications and access to Garmin's entire fitness tracking platform. There are some more jewelry-like trackers, Bellabeats lineup or the Fitbit Lux come to mind, but the Vivo Sport Moves design is a lot sturdier for active lifestyles. Coming in number 2. Garmin Phoenix 7S. Garmin's flagship Phoenix 7 series is no joke. It's got built-in multi-band GPS, weeks worth of battery life, the option of touchscreen or button navigation, topographical maps, and oodles upon oodles of data. There's also a handy new real-time stamina feature that helps you figure out how much you've got left in the tank. Depending on the model you get, you might also get a built-in LED flashlight and solar charging. Garmin wearables are also known for providing extensive, in-depth metrics, and the Phoenix is no exception. You get excellent recovery metrics, as well as helpful training guides and coaching programs. The best part is Garmin doesn't charge extra for those features. That's good news since the Phoenix 7 series starts at $699.99. We appreciate how quickly the Phoenix 7 watches are able to pick up a GPS signal. That's a must if you're training in the dead of winter. These watches can also take a beating. All models are built to military-grade standards and feature up to 10 ATM of water resistance. That means they're more than capable of a dunk in the ocean. Another plus is that the Phoenix 7 series comes in some attractive colorways, making this watch less of an eyesore than some other rugged fitness watches. That helps people who may want a watch that can double as a daily driver. The transflective screen isn't our absolute favorite, the old on the Garmin Epix 2 is a lot easier on the eyes. However, the Phoenix 7 lineup's multiple size options make it a more versatile pick if you don't have large wrists. It's on the pricier end of things, but it's an excellent option for people who spend a lot of time outdoors. Coming in number 1. Fitbit Versa 3. There's a reason the Versa lineup is so popular. 
While it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, it's got everything you need in a basic fitness tracker for a reasonable $229.95. Plus, you can frequently find it on sale for under $200. In terms of sensors, you get continuous heart rate monitoring and SpO2. It supports NFC payments and has a microphone for taking phone calls on the wrist. Plus, you can have the option of both Alexa and Google Assistant. Unlike previous iterations of the Versa, this one also comes with built-in GPS. The Versa 3 also gets you about a week of battery life and the ability to get a day's worth of charge in just 12 minutes. Fitbit's platform is also among the most user-friendly, especially for folks just getting started in the world of fitness trackers. It's got a large community for competitions and one of the more streamlined companion apps. There's no lack of data, especially if you opt for Fitbit Premium. The Versa 3 also comes with a 90-day trial of Fitbit Premium, so it's something you can mull over before deciding to shell out. Sure, you don't get EKGs or the flagship Fitbit Sense's electrodermal activity sensor, but I'd argue most people won't end up using these features regularly anyway. Like the Apple Watch SA, the pared-down Versa 3 makes more sense for the average person.